Good afternoon. It is with considerable pride that I welcome you to the 136th annual commencement of the Norristown Area High School. Today we are honoring the 310 graduates of the class of 1998. It is days like today that I look around this auditorium that I am truly appreciative of the beautiful facilities that we have in the Norristown Area School District. At the same time, I am equally appreciative of the outstanding talent and expertise we have in members of our faculty and staff. Please take a minute with me and give a round of applause to our school board members who are with us today and our faculty and staff who have started serving These faculty and staff have started serving the graduates when they were five years old in many cases and continued for the last 13 years through the singing of the national anthem just seconds ago. It is now that we review the history of this class, project into the future, and conclude with a conferring of diplomas on these graduates. Thank you. Good afternoon, everyone. It is important to realize that there are so many things to be doing out there, but doing well in school should always be a priority. The reason for this, in my eyes, is the promise of the future. Attending a good college has been a goal for as long as I can remember. But besides just getting good grades, there were tons of other things to do around school, like being in the N club, playing field hockey, joining the math club or horticulture club, hanging out with Mr. P in the chemistry club, or doing artwork for Spice. There were all of these on top of working way too much at my job. Sometimes it could get hectic, but somehow I kept track of it all, and here I am in the top 10 of our class. It's pretty nice. <laughs> Well, I wrote the preceding statements to meet the requests of the school yearbook staff. And the reason I read it aloud is that you can infer a couple of things about me from it. First, I can be pretty glib sometimes. And also, there's the fact I'm a nerd. What's more than that, I'm not, I'm not even a renowned nerd, as I wouldn't be surprised if most of you out there were thinking, who is that girl? Living the life of a geek was quite different than most of everyone else's life in high school. I'm pretty shy, I didn't go to many basketball games or football games, and I've actually spent Friday and Saturday nights working on school projects. But we all shared similar experiences during these four years, and that's what this is about, trying to figure out how we've grown. In the beginning, our school was a complex maze of large and scary hallways with equally large and scary students, telling us that room 601 was on the sixth floor, even though there's only three. <laughs> then time went on, and we turned into those students that told the freshmen that their health courses were in these imaginary places. I still remember the first day of orientation where we milled about the school for the day trying to complete a scavenger hunt and figure out where everything is located. Now we know this place inside and out. There was also the bomb scare in the beginning of our freshman year, <laughs> which we actually thought was beneficial since we got out of school so early and some of us made it into the newspaper. I don't think that even now we would react differently though. Maybe we haven't grown up that much. Through the next years, there have been countless pep rallies, football games, assemblies, and many other extracurricular activities to keep us busy after school. 
Our teachers are definitely more apt to describe how we've all changed since I've shared a lot of the same experiences as everyone else. There's been crises with school, friends, boyfriends or girlfriends, sports, work, you name it. There were also a lot of firsts. Your first romance, getting your driver's license, your first job, your first science lab that you blew up, or your first of many college visits, and more. All of this adds up to your first steps to becoming an adult. We all have a lot of people to thank for helping us along the way, including our friends, families, and teachers. And that's how I'd like to end. Thank you, everyone, for your help and encouragement. It is an honor for me, as a secretary of the class of 1998, to present the key of knowledge to the secretary of the class of 1999. The key of knowledge was presented by the class of 1904 to be given to each successive class for 50 years. This period elapsed in 1954, and the key was retired. To perpetuate the tradition of this ceremony, a new key was presented to the school by the class of 1954. On behalf of the class of 1999, Viola and I gladly accept the key of knowledge and we wish the class of 1998 the best of luck. Greetings fellow graduates, parents, friends, teachers, administrators, and school directors. In about 15 minutes, we will be alumni of Norristown Area High School. I know we're all itching to receive our diplomas and leave the school for one last time, and the next four minutes while I speak to you will seem like years. Let's not forget, though, how little we have left of high school. We've been in school for four years and 180 days each year. That's 720 days. From 7.30 in the morning till 2.35 in the afternoon, we are in school for seven hours and five minutes each day. We get out early occasionally for early dismissal days, so we'll subtract a couple minutes from the total. That makes about 300,000 minutes that we were in high school. Or 18 million seconds. And that's not even counting the time we spent doing our homework, playing sports, or participating in activities. But those 300,000 minutes are nothing compared to what we have ahead of us. Each one of us has about 31 million minutes left in our lives. Medical advances may allow us to live even longer. What are you going to do in those 31 million minutes. Commencement means a beginning or a start, although we tend to think of it as an end, the end of our years in public school. Our entire lives for the past dozen years have been devoted to our education. Even during a boring class period or yet another interminable study hall, when we think that school has no purpose, it does. We have been preparing to enter the world for those years. Now, we are prepared. In those 15 minutes, we will enter the world as graduates of Norristown Area High School. Our education here has prepared us for those many millions of minutes ahead, but it is now our job to take advantage of that. There are no more rules, no more high school report cards, no more dress code to guide us along the way. We must become independent, and we can. School has prepared us to put those 31 million minutes to good use. 
The future is an enormous clock that begins ticking this afternoon. We will venture farther away from the routine and comfort of high school when our lives were more controlled. We will have to choose how to use the ticking time for ourselves. The only certain thing we know about the future is that we can't stop the passage of time. Sometimes the clock may seem like it's ticking more slowly or sometimes more rapidly. We may have an idea of where we're going with our lives, but we will never know for sure how much time remains before a change takes place. Nevertheless, we are prepared to take the challenge. After the remaining minutes that will fly by as soon as I am done talking, it will be time for us to begin our own independent lives. During the course of my speech, you've listened to me use up about four minutes. The poet William Blake said, the hours of folly are measured by the clock, but of wisdom no clock can measure. It is easy to try to kill time, but much harder to use it well. I hope all of us in this class use the rest of our 31 million minutes wisely. Thank you. It is tradition that the graduating class present a cap and gown to the succeeding class. Today, as co-president of the senior class of 1998, I pass this cap and gown down to the class of 1999 as a symbol of both growth and continuity of the class. On behalf of the class of 1998, I wish you the best of luck in your final year at North Sound Area High School. As co-president of the graduating class, I, Kate McLennigan, would like to present this cap and gown to the co-president of next year's senior class, my sister, Elizabeth McLennigan. And I would like to take this opportunity to thank her and her council for all of your help and hard work over the past three years. As I pass this down to you, Elizabeth, I hope that I am passing on standards and traditions that we have established and that you will uphold. I, Elizabeth McLennigan, co-president of next year's senior class, proudly accept this cap and gown on behalf of the class of 1999. The presentation of the cap and gown has come to symbolize the potential for the incoming senior class's final year, as well as the accomplishments of the class of 1998 who are graduating today. We, the class of 1999, wish them the best of luck in all their future endeavors. Good afternoon. It is my pleasure and honor to present today the Jeffrey J. Butler Memorial and Norristown Area High School Football Booster Club Scholarship Award. This award is presented to a senior football player who has been accepted to a college, who is in good academic standing, and has exhibited sportsmanship and team leadership. This year's winner is Brian Webster. The next award is the Benjamin A. Cognato Memorial Music Scholarship. 
The recipient of this award must be a student in good academic standing and be a member of the Norristown Area High School Eagle Guard or Color Guard of the Eagle Marching Band. This year's winner is Tanitha Kulsari. I have the pleasure of awarding the Thomas and Melville Corley Award for Excellence. This award is presented to a college-bound African-American male and female students of excellence, character whose leadership and academic achievement have been commendable throughout their high school years. This year, this award is given to Lawrence Arrington and Tara Halsey. Barbara McGlency Memorial Award. This award is presented to the senior who best demonstrates the qualities of human service, compassion for those who are less advantage, an optimistic spirit, initiative, and strategic action on behalf of the community. The student will aspire to a nursing or related health care profession. This year, this award is given to Christina Cox. It is an honor for me to present the Joseph A. Mirabili Senior Memorial Award to a young lady, a college-bound senior, who has demonstrated consistent qualities of scholarship, citizenship, and loyalty. Our recipient for 1998, Ms. Han Young Tron. The Montgomery Orthopedic Award honors an outstanding student desiring to enter the health field, one who has shown the greatest interest and achievement during high school. The recipient, Ms. Jacqueline Waite. The next award is the Ronald Passmore Memorial Award, and this award is presented to a senior whose positive attitude towards school and co-curricular involvement has inspired his or her peers toward higher personal achievement, and our winner this year is Melissa Kelly. The Lois Rapp Award is to the student with special promise in the arts who is enrolled in a post-secondary program in the arts that will lead to a career. And this year's recipient is Kate McGlennigan. Congratulations. The next awards that I am going to present are to the top 10 students. The Eagle's Nest Awards are given to the 10 students with the highest academic ratings. I am going to do them this year in reverse order. The 10th ranked student after all courses, all final grades through this year is Hai Sung An.
The ninth ranked student is Christina Cox. The eighth ranked student is Julie Fulham. Seventh ranked student is Molly Kang. The sixth ranked student is Han Young Tron. The fifth student is Thaddeus Zavodsky. The fourth ranked student is Rebecca Wall. Third ranked student is Jeffrey Sconier. You already know who the salutatorian and the valedictorians are. The salutatorian, Marie Oliver. And to allow Nathan to relax and take full advantage of this, I am going to not only give him our recognition from the Eagle's Nest, but also three other awards. He receives the Dorothy V. Robbins Award, which goes to the class valedictorian with the hope that his abilities will be used to assist the handicapped in the future. He also receives the Helen Bickings Schartzer Memorial Award, which is an award given to a worthy graduating senior with superior scholastic achievement. And finally, the valedictory award from student services that uh, serves and has provided our students for many years with many of, many of the uh, awards and other activity opportunities, including class rings. This organization presents annually a bowl for the valedictorian. So this is a traditional award for the valedictorian, Nathan Ashby Coleman.